Hey what's going on YouTube, Brandon Wolf here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new tutorial slash how to video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can use your DSLR camera to stream on OBS. You can use a face cam while streaming with your DSLR camera. So before we get into this video make sure you subscribe, smash that like button for more tutorials and great content. So let me go ahead and flip my camera around to this setup I have right here on the tripod. I've got my Canon T7i plugged in to my computer HP Envy and I've got my Blue Snowball Ice microphone. So first things first you're gonna wanna do, I'm going to go ahead transfer my voice over to the computer screen right now so I don't have to just keep holding this and then I'll cut back to the actual live footage of how it's all going. Oh, before I go guys, I gotta tell you, um, I almost made a very dumb mistake. Turn on your camera first, and you just heard that, and this little menu will drop up. You gotta plug a USB, not a regular USB, your cable that your camera came with. Like this cable usually has this little thick thing towards the end. You gotta plug that into your camera, and this will open it's called EOS Utility. I'll leave a link down in the description below, but let's go ahead and transfer it over to the computer to begin the tutorial. Now we are looking on my computer screen. Um, the EOS Utility popped up when I plugged in and turned on my camera. You guys see it recognizes it, EOS Rebel T7i. You wanna go ahead and select Remote Shooting, let it load. This menu right here, will pop up, go down right here, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys, live view shoot. Press on that one time, you guys might have heard my camera, click on, and here is the live shoot on my camera. You guys see all these boxes and stuff. You can get rid of it by pressing right there and boom. So we have to keep this up, so we have to keep it open. We're now in OBS, I just have my computer display up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But you can name your scene anything you want, you can make your sources anything. So in sources you want to right click, go to add, and go down to window capture. Press on that, this will pop up, you want to press OK. You want to go to this window, EOS Utility 3. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but let me just press OK and show you what it shows on OBS. This little screen here, so what you want to do is extend it as big as you can because we need to crop it to fit the camera screen itself. So each side, you want to hold in Alt and drag it into each edge of the camera screen. So that's the right side, then the top, and then the left side, and finally let's find the bottom right here, all the way down there, there we go. Hold in Alt, and then you can crop it to that size. And then if you want to extend it, let me put it in the top left for you guys. If you want to extend it, don't hold anything, just grab one of the corners and you can extend it any way you want. You can make it full screen, you can make it top left, anything you want. Let me make it full screen for you guys and you can see what exactly you're looking at. Let me go up to the chair and you guys can see me. You guys can see me right here, see how it is working. And if you want to put it in like the top right or anything, just drag it in. Make it a pretty fairly small size and you can put it in any corner that you would like. So that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. It really helped me out. And I'm definitely going to put it to use and stream on Twitch using this setup. So make sure you follow me on Twitch. You can find that down in the description below or at twitch.tv forward slash Brandon Wolf Zero after the capital W. 
So like I said, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you share it to your friends, people who have been dying to know how to do this. And good luck to you guys using this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Guys, I almost forgot to mention, um, you guys saw my microphone on top of my camera. That does not do anything with the sound. Sound does not come from the camera at all. It comes from my external microphone, my blue snowball that I have. So if you have like a blue snowball or a, another microphone that you can just plug into your laptop and you've got it all situated with OBS, you're fine. But if you don't, uh, you might have a problem. The sound does not come from the camera at all. So that's, that's the only backside of this. But other than that, it is flawless. So that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed.